Ashwagandha is a medicinal herb that has powerful effects on the body and the brain. Now in this video, I'm looking at five of the top health benefits which have been tested in human clinical trials. Now be sure to stick around to the end because I'm also gonna discuss the most cost-effective dose so you know how much to take for it to be useful. Ashwagandha is one of the most important herbs in Ayurveda, which is a form of alternative medicine based on the Indian principles of natural healing. This is what the ashwagandha plant looks like. Now it's the extracts or powder from the plant's roots or leaves that we use in supplements. So let's take a look at the top five health uses. Number one, ashwagandha can help reduce stress. Ashwagandha is classified as an adaptogen, which means it can help your body to manage stress. Cortisol is known as the stress hormone because your adrenal glands release it in response to stress and when your blood sugar levels get too low. Now unfortunately in some cases cortisol levels may become chronically elevated which can lead to high blood sugar levels and increased fat storage in the abdomen. Reducing cortisol levels can be very beneficial for health and studies have shown that ashwagandha can help. In this controlled study of 64 adults with a history of chronic stress, the group that supplemented with ashwagandha improved all tested parameters of chronic mental stress and reduced serum cortisol by 27.9%. Now this was seen after 60 days of continuous supplementation. These effects on cortisol and stress actually bring me to the next benefit. Ashwagandha may help reduce anxiety and depression. Now in this same 60 day study, those in the ashwagandha group reported a 69% average reduction in anxiety and insomnia compared to 11% in the placebo group. Numerous other double-blind controlled trials have also found it has benefits on anxiety, but there is also definitely a placebo effect at play too. So those taking fake pills tend to experience improvements as well, but it's never nearly as strong or consistent as the ashwagandha group. Antidepressive effects have also been seen with ashwagandha, but they are nowhere near as notable as the anti-anxiety effects. But the uh, mechanism by which it helps um, appears to be very similar. Back to the 60-day study, those who took a larger daily dose reported a 79% reduction in severe depression. Now at the same time, the placebo group reported only a 10% increase. Number three, ashwagandha may increase muscle mass and strength. Okay, shifting gears a little bit, but the benefits are not limited to just mental health. Research has shown that ashwagandha may increase strength and power output. Now one study's purpose was to determine a safe and effective dosage for ashwagandha, but they found that healthy men who took a high dose for 30 days had a significant increase in strength in the quadricep and back extensor muscles, despite not exercising. In another study, 57 untrained men were put on a strength training program and given either ashwagandha or placebo for eight weeks. The ashwagandha group improved their one rep max of bench press by almost 20 kilos or 44 pounds over placebo and leg extension by almost five kilos or 11 pounds. Uh, muscle size, uh, serum testosterone and muscle recovery was also improved versus placebo. So you can see these benefits are really impressive. Number four, ashwagandha may reduce blood sugar levels. Several studies have found ashwagandha has benefits for metabolic health. A test tube study found that it increased insulin secretion and improved insulin sensitivity in muscle cells. Now this may help explain the potential benefits on blood sugar levels. In a small pilot study of six people with type two diabetes, uh, supplementing with ashwagandha for 30 days lowered fasting blood sugar levels as effectively as an oral diabetes medication. Um, there's other studies that have noted benefits even in those without diabetes, but the effect uh, was fa fairly small, um, less than a 5% change. Number five, ashwagandha may improve cholesterol and lower triglycerides. This of course may help to improve heart health, particularly in those who already have problems. In a 60 day study of chronically stressed adults, which is the one we looked at several times earlier, uh, the group taking the highest dosage of ashwagandha experienced a 17% decrease in LDL cholesterol and an 11% decrease in triglycerides on average. Another study noted very similar reductions in LDL cholesterol, but they also found HDL cholesterol increased by 17%. However, the authors were involved with the companies that produce ashwagandha supplements. So, you know, that doesn't automatically discredit the findings, but that's something um, we should be aware of. As for the effective dosages, those used in the study seems to range from 125 to 1,250 milligrams daily. And it seems like the higher the dose, uh, the more effective it is. So if you're thinking about supplementing, I'd look for a root extract or powder 
uh, that's about 450 to 500 milligrams per capsule and you could uh, have one or two of those per day. Best of all, it appears very safe for most people. Uh, however, there are some individuals who, who shouldn't take it, uh, including pregnant or breastfeeding women, uh, potentially people with autoimmune diseases as well. Um, but as always, you should talk with your doctor before you begin any new supplement. Thanks for tuning in. If you found this useful, please leave us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, be sure to click the red button below the video to subscribe to the Authority Nutrition YouTube channel.